morning everyone it is Friday May 6th and right now I am attempting to put together a bed frame yep that's happening there's our bread bed frame bread frame no there's our bed frame uh, which we ordered over a month ago it's been sitting behind that door so that's our bed I already stood it up before I started this there's our bed um, I'm going to attempt to put this together because we are going away this weekend. We're going to Austin's parents for the weekend and Cooper is staying here and he is being dog sat at our apartment. Well, I wanted to finally get all the stuff that's supposed to go under the bed, under the bed before we leave, if that makes sense. Just because I like coming home to a clean apartment. And I know I cleaned in the last video, but I never really finished cleaning. I know the footage was lost, so you don't know that, but I never really finished cleaning. So I'm gonna finish cleaning now. significantly later in the day now. I got a lot of cleaning done. I still have a lot to do, of course. But I am currently at the hardware store. I need to get a copy of my key made so Nicole can watch Cooper this weekend. So let's go get a copy of a key made because the lady in the car next to me is staring at me like I'm crazy. Success! I got a little sunflower key made. It's so cute. I finally finished cleaning. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna eat some lunch, run to Target and buy some things that I need for this weekend. And then probably pack my bag for the weekend. Kristen's gonna come over in a little bit and we're gonna do a review of Civil War because we both saw it last night, not together. But we did both see it last night. So yeah, I'm gonna eat some leftover pasta and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I just got back from Target and got what I needed. I got some new dry erase markers. I got a new lip balm. Exciting, I know. It's kind of cool looking though, right? Like, it doesn't look like a lip balm, but it is. I also got a new shampoo and conditioner. And I got Nicole a gift card for um, dog sitting Cooper this weekend. He has a little dog on it. And that's it. So anyway, I think I'm going to shower and try and look more presentable to the world, or at least a little cleaner. All right, so I took a shower. That is checked off my list. I packed my bag for this weekend, so that's checked off my list. I just have like a few little things I need to do before we go. I need to edit this video. So I'm going to try and get some of that done, at least some of this footage uploaded so I can edit it real quickly now um, because that takes way more time than you would think it would. So here we go. All right, so Kristen ended up not making it here in time. She got stuck in a lot of traffic, but she has to go pick her Wait. mom up at the airport anyway for Mother's Day weekend. So look who is here to tell you about Civil War anyway. So it's now me. We can review it before we head to his parents' house for Mother's Day. Whoop whoop. Yeah! So Civil War. Primo. <laughs> Spoiler free. I thought it was really good. Same. Uh, had a lot of fun with it. Action scenes were great. Give shout out to the stunt team in this movie because there's a lot of in-camera 
which means non-CG stunts mm -hmm. and hand-to-hand -hand combat well choreographed. It was great. It was fun to watch. It was well shot. I agree. Hi, Cooper. What did you think? What did you? You didn't see it yet. No, no, you didn't see it You'll yet. You'll see it when it comes out on DVD. You can watch Deadpool on Tuesday, though. Uh. There was one time that I actually legitimately was crying. There were a couple other times where I was like... <laughs> the new characters that have been added, mainly being Black Panther and Spider-Man, in my opinion, stole the show because I thought they were both great. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man, my opinion, and I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, the best Spider-Man they've put on film. Black Panther, I don't think you could have done him better on screen either. You're both like, you know what? Tony Stark's right. At the same time, you're like, Captain America's kind of right too. Yeah. So it's a very good balance. Everyone's well motivated. There's no, and there is a villain. But of Iron Man and Captain America, there's no real villain. Right. It's hard to pull for one because that just means you're against the other. Mm -hmm. It's hard to choose a side. I was team, why can't we all just get along? I was team Spider-Man. Amidst all the drama, there's still a few Tony Stark... Yeah. Snark-isms. What do we call them? Stark-isms last time? Stark-isms. So, you know, it's... that always makes for a great... It's very well written, very well directed. Mm -hmm. Action was great. A few nerd outs here, which means spoilers. So we can put something down in the bottom of the time if you don't want any more spoilers. Mm -hmm. Good spoilers, here on out. The motorcycle stunt. Motorcycle stunt with Bucky. The end fight where... Because... Oh god, the don't part, even start talking about it. The don't part, because you're like, start. oh no, they're all going to get along. And then to find out that Bucky is the one who killed Tony's parents. And that was such a good plot twist, I felt like. That was one of the changes I felt like that was made. For mm -hmm. this. And it fits, and it makes sense. And it kind of all brings it together, and it gives the reason on why. Because the whole movie... Iron Man doesn't want to fight Captain. Right. And it's at this moment where he's like, um, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. I feel like in the theater at that moment, everybody you could tell was kind of like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. But I think the two, like, nerd out moments, Fastball Special, a.k.a. Ant-Man riding on a Hawkeye's arrow, tiny. Mm-hmm. And then what everyone was hoping would happen if you know anything about Ant-Man, which is Giant Man, which is he grows to be super mm -hmm. big. And it's great. The whole fight, everyone has their moments. Spider-Man, I just, he's That's perfect. That's where I nerded out. And like, I'm not even, perfect. he's not even my favorite superhero in the entire world. And I was nerding out hardcore. The like scene, he was, he, it was just done like Tom Timothy. Holland looks like an awkward 16 year old, which is really why I didn't like Andrew Garfield because mm -hmm. Spider-Man is, more about Peter Parker than it is about Spider-Man. Tom Holland, you look at me like, yeah, someone's gonna beat this kid up in high school. Mm -hmm. Even though it was Spider-Man joining Iron Man, it was still more about Peter Parker. I thought they did a good job of resolving it where if you're like me and you hate inner conflict, you still feel like there's some resolution there. Like, yes, they still don't agree on it, but in the end, you're like, okay, there's yeah. some resolution, and it builds for all the movies that are coming up. Basically, all I've been wanting for the past like ten years is a Marvel, <laughs> a Marvel Studios Spider-Man movie. Mm -hmm. But overall, solid A plus. Not a hundred percent. Movie's not perfect. No. It's like a ninety-eight. Yeah. A plus. Definitely go see it. We'll probably see it at least one or two more times. Most likely. Per At least. <laughs> per the usual. Especially with movies like this we watch. My last note is that I want Tony Stark's phone. I want his watch to gauntlet. Yeah. That's in the previews. It's just like Ch -ch -ch -ch, Iron Man gauntlet. Anyway, we need to get on the road. Yes, it's getting late. I'm hungry. She's hungry. Super hungry. We have about a half an hour and a half drive. Yep. So, see you all in the next video. Bye!
you ran into me.